Goku's in the principal's office again. I don't know what's gotten into you two lately. You're always tardy and your grades are beginning to slip. And no one's buying this goose lady nonsense. You see, kids? What? Yes? What? The president's in the cafeteria? I'll be right there. Just where do you think you're going? Naughty children don't get to meet the president. You two stay put. Huh? 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 Hello, children! Looks like someone has time for a fairy tale. Haven't you gotten us in enough trouble? Oh, let me make it up to you. With a story as told by Juanito, the storytelling wand. Buenos dias. Once upon a time, there was a tortoise that challenged a jackrabbit to a foot race. But as you might have expected, the tortoise lost in a very big way. <laughs> The crowd eventually grew tired of waiting for the tortoise and went home. When the tortoise finally finished, he was left all alone. <laughs> except for an old disregarded toupee. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, what do you know? You're just a dirty old hairpiece. Ah, oh, look who's passing judgment. Even a Nimrod knows a tortoise can't outrun a rabbit. He's right, you know. You really must be some sort of sap to have run that race. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants. I'd like to see you beat me in a foot race. Ah, uh, slow down there, Flash. Obviously, I can't beat you in a foot race. I haven't got any feet. Oh, well, that's convenient. How about this, Speedy? We both join a company at entry level and see who gets furthest ahead in business in five years, eh? Already embarrassed, the tortoise felt he needed to save face. You're on, rug. <laughs> So, the very next day, the tortoise and the toupee got jobs in a mailroom in a very large corporation. The tortoise worked very hard, often through his coffee breaks and lunches. Hey, Tort! We're all going down to the burger queue! You wanna come? Nah, I've got too much work. <laughs> the toupee, on the other hand, was always goofing off, always cracking jokes at the water cooler. So then the elephant says, that's all right. That's not my trunk. <laughs> not my trunk. <laughs> or showing off. Hello, co-workers. Want to see me flip my wig? Ta-da! Harry. <laughs> Why, that hairpiece even had the nerve to make jokes to the boss. Uh, you know, boss, if you cut your lunch down to four hours, you'd have more time to work on your sloppy golf game, eh? <laughs> oh, tube, you're a stinker! <laughs> <laughs> but when the first promotion out of the mailroom came, it went to the toupee. The tortoise was in shock. So the tortoise worked extra hard. He would leave extra late. And come in extra early. He would put many helpful suggestions into the suggestion box, but somehow the toupee would always get the credit. Oh, sure, the tortoise did slowly move up the ladder. Yeah, here you go, Sonny. Meet your new cubicle. Hey, there's no door. Hey, there's no... The toupee, on the other hand, was always two or three promotions ahead. Here you go, pal. Meet your new secretary. What made matters worse was that the toupee would show off his success. <laughs> by buying gem-encrusted cones or showing up to work with hairdos from expensive Italian stylists. He even bought himself a fancy new styrofoam head. Hey, like my new ride? It's still got that new head smell. Mm. One day, the tortoise turned in an efficiency report, but when he gave it to the boss's secretary... Oh, isn't that cute? Run along now, Curly. Nobody seemed to take the tortoise seriously. As for the toupee, he was next in line for a junior executive position. You lost, Sonny? You realize this is the executive floor, do you not? Yes, I know. The five years flew by, and on the final day of the contest, the toupee called the tortoise into his office. The president will see you now. Well, 
well, Swifty. Seems I've won our little contest. But seriously, what chance did you honestly have? It's a fact of nature that tortoises are bald. And everyone knows that you need a great head of hair to succeed in business. Hold on there, Slick. While you were foolishly spending your money, I've been saving mine and investing it in the company stock. And as of 12 o'clock last night, well, here, you take a look. To the toupee surprise, the tortoise now owned a controlling percentage of the company's stock. The toupee actually worked for the tortoise and therefore lost the bet. Oh, and by the way, you fired. So the defeated herpes left the office and was never seen again. And the tortoise lived happily ever after. And that is how it really happened. So remember, children, here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Isn't the point that the slow, steady pace will prevail in the long run? If that's what you want to believe. Done, kids and their prank calls. President in the cafeteria, my foot. Oops, oh, that's my cue. What? Um, it was the goose lady? Goose lady? Mm -hmm. That'll be two weeks' detention for you two vandals. At least we'll get a chance to catch up on our schoolwork. <laughs> <laughs>